Hi, my name's Maria. I'm with the Art Cart this summer, and we are really thrilled to bring you some great free art projects. We're traveling around all of Madison to different parks, and we hope to see you at the parks real soon. This week's art project is inspired by the artist Natalie Frank, who looks at famous fairy tales and retells them. So she takes characters that oftentimes are portrayed as powerless and then she transforms them into part animal, part human, and they become really powerful. So our activity for you is to think about an animal that makes you feel super powerful and you're gonna draw it on a mirror-like substance and then when you look at it, you'll be able to see yourself and the animal and you can imagine you're taking on the powers of your favorite animal. So let's get started. We'll show you how it works. All right, so I am gonna choose a bear for my animal. I love bears. I think they're super fierce and they also seem like they're really, they really love the people they love. So I like the, the fierce and kind, kindness of bears. So I'm gonna pull up a picture of a bear that I like. I love this one. I love the colors in it. And I'm gonna look in my mirror here and draw two large oval shapes where I see my eyes. Then I'm gonna get to drawing my bear. So I'm gonna leave my eye holes unfilled in and then I'm just gonna start to color using my cray paws here. And I'm gonna choose different colors that I like. The cray paws blend really nicely. They're really creamy in texture and they create really beautiful colors. And if you look at Natalie Frank's work, you'll see she also has um, really beautiful colors in her pastels. So the cray paws, if you press down really hard, you'll see you get better coverage. If you press light, then you can see some of the mirror through. So just like in Natalie Frank's work, sometimes she likes it fully covered and sometimes she likes the paper showing through. So you decide what, what you like. For my fur of my bear, I'm actually gonna use the side of the cray paw because that seems to be giving me really good coverage because it's a little bit bigger. So my cray paw broke on accident, but it was uh, lucky because then I could just use that side of the cray paw to keep, um, keep coloring in the fur. So I am pretty happy with this. I am going over, adding different colors, seeing how I like it, changing the shapes on the, on the bear. I'm gonna add some background material, I'm thinking about a bear being in a forest. And I didn't like the first way I did it, so I took a paper towel and you can use it as kind of an eraser. So I erased parts of it that I didn't like and I'm liking the, the effect that it kind of looks like sky in the background and some clouds. And so I'm, I'm liking the way that looks. So uh, paper towels, great. And then we can, we included some tacky um, putty that is safe for walls that you can hang it up and anywhere you'd like so you can see yourself and your animal and feel super strong. The gray paws are kind of smudgy and messy so make sure you're wearing something you don't mind getting a little bit dirty um, and uh, wash your hands afterwards. If you want to stop your uh, drawing from smudging, hairspray uh, can help actually keep the pastels from, from smudging. You can also try a thin layer of just regular old Elmer's glue and that will act as a bit of a varnish to keep the paint in place. Cool, so we can't wait to see what you come up with. If you are feeling inspired, try using different animals. You could do many animals in one. You could make up your own animal and let us know why you chose it and how you're feeling when you see yourself in this animal. Thanks y'all.